Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Yogi Flat. Uh, so tonight, during our all-around yoga sequence, uh, we're going to be focusing a little more on inversions. But don't worry, we're not doing a headstand or anything. Um, an inversion is basically anything where your heart is higher than your head. So uh, if you think about like downward dog or dolphin, um, puppy is, is an inversion, that kind of stuff. So um, we're going to get started. Um, and you just need a block for tonight if you want to have one. I love my block. And we're going to start tonight in Sukhasana. So I invite you to come into a cross-legged position. You could go into lotus or half lotus, whatever you're comfortable in. So I invite you to sit up tall. Start coming into your yoga breath here. So you're gonna be inhaling through your nose. Pausing at the top and then exhaling through your nose. Then pausing at the bottom. And while you're settling onto your mat, being mindful of here and now on your mat, bringing your awareness here. And just really focusing on bringing your breath into a nice rhythm. Letting those shoulders drop down your back. Actively sitting in Sukhasana by opening up that collarbone. Bringing your attention to your mula bandha, which is that pelvic floor lock, like a kegel. Remembering to draw on that mula bandha in challenging postures or when you need to, to ground yourself. And then as you're exhaling, bringing in that lower abdomen, engaging your uddiyata bandha, so you can still breathe as you're drawing in that lower abdomen because our lungs are actually here. So you can inhale with your lower abdomen locked in. That'll help you increase your core strength and also lock that core when, when, when you're in postures that require that core stabilization. And on your next exhale, just drawing your chin in towards your, um, kind of like your neck, like you're making yourself have a double chin, or in my case, it's probably like a triple chin. <laughs> and that's locking that Jalahara Bandha. Maybe breathing into those back muscles. So I'm never going to tell you to release the locks. Um, that's up to you. This is just a nice reminder of how to engage them. Um, and as you engage them all together, it's your triple lock there. You can bring some engagement to your fingers by taking your forefinger and your thumb and bringing them together either with your palms up or your palms down on your legs.
And on the inhale, we're going to look all the way up to the ceiling. And on exhale, we're going to come to center. And on inhale, we're going to turn our face to the right. Continuing our yoga breath here. And on your next exhale, we're just going to look down to the right. Remembering to sit up straight here. On inhale, we're going to bring our face to center. And this time as we exhale, we're going to turn to the left, turning our face to the left. And on our next exhale, looking down to our left. And on the inhale, we'll come to center. And on the exhale, we'll look down. Breathing into the back of your neck there. Inhaling, coming to center. You need to release your hands if you haven't already. So we're going to come into a seated gait here. So your right hand's going to be to the right of you. We're going to inhale our left hand up, palm facing the right. And on an exhale, we're going to reach our left hand towards the right side. Maintaining our sit bones, but actively reaching to the right. So our weight is still on our two sit bones. And if it feels okay for you, you can take your right hand and just put it behind your back. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Remembering to engage your core here. By engaging your navel. And we're going to sit up. Letting our left hand drop down. And on an inhale, we're going to bring up our right hand, palm facing the left, and exhale, reaching towards the left hand side. You can keep your left hand down here for balance, or you can wrap it behind your back. Looking up towards the ceiling, if that feels okay for you tonight. On the inhale, come to center, bringing our right hand down, and exhaling. We'll come into a seated twist. So we're going to inhale, drawing in our, our navel, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind us. And as we exhale, we're going to twist to our right. Maintaining good posture here. Exhale and coming to center. Same thing on the other side now. We're going to inhale, bring our navel in, in right hand to the left knee, left hand behind us. And on an exhale, we'll twist to the left. And on the inhale, we'll come to center. Exhaling back to Sukhasana. All right, so we're going to come off our blocks and we're going to put our block to the back of our mat strategically. That's a hint. 
<clears throat> and we're going to come on to you all fours here, maybe further to the back of your mat. So my feet are off my mat. I don't know. I always find like I don't have enough room in the front sometimes. So, so we're going to start off in tabletop here. So your fingers are spread. Your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. You're engaging that navel, looking ahead here. We're going to be actively in tabletop here to play with pushing uh, the tops of your feet into the floor. And as you're breathing, we're going to inhale, raising our forehead and our tailbone to the ceiling. Coming into cow. And then as we exhale, holding our forehead and our tailbone down towards the mat. Coming into cat. Drawing in that abdominal area. And we're going to keep doing that on a, on a cycle here. So as you're inhaling, coming into cow. And as you're exhaling, coming into cat. A couple more times here. Really getting your body moving. Feeling that movement through your shoulders and through your spine. Do a couple more here. No need to rush through it. And then we'll all meet in tabletop. And uh, we're going to take our, we're going to come into puppy. So you're going to put your elbow down where your hand was and put your other elbow down. So that your your hands are spread here, and then your tailbone's going to naturally curve up towards the ceiling, and then we're going to push our we're going to slide our hands out, and if you're comfortable, you can push your or not push it, but rest your forehead on your mat while you're pushing through your fingers here. Really continuing to breathe. You can play around with lifting your forehead off the mat and keeping that pushing into your hand here. One more breath. And as we exhale, we're gonna put our head back on the mat if it was off. And then we're just gonna walk our hands back up to tabletop. I'm gonna move up a little bit so I'm on my mat. <laughs> So once we're in tabletop here, we're going to flip our feet and we're going to exhale, lifting our bum to the ceiling into downward dog. And if you're wanting to get some movement here, you can start pedaling your knees or your feet. Maybe go inside to side. Ensuring that your fingers are still spread. And then finding your first downward dog here. Some people like to keep their knees bent a little bit in their first downward dog. And your gaze is up towards your thighs or your navel. You're pushing, actively pushing your hands into the mat and lifting your tailbone up. On your next exhale, we're going to bend our knees. Inhaling big steps up towards the top of the mat. Taking those steps all the way to the top. Exhaling, bending our knees a little bit so that our hands can reach the mat. Coming into Utanasana or forward fold. We're going to inhale, lifting our hands up towards our, our knees or our thighs. Looking forward, exhaling our hands back down once again. And then as we inhale, we're going to come all the way up. Coming into reaching up towards the ceiling, exhaling down, prayer, some CT, and then down into Tadasana. Good job, guys. We're going to inhale up to salute, reaching up towards the ceiling, exhaling all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. 
We're going to inhale, looking halfway, coming halfway, letting those shoulders drop down your back. Maybe pausing for a yoga breath here as we're gazing forward. And then we're going to exhale our hands down, taking a step back, double checking that your front knees over top of your uh, front ankle, looking forward, just pausing in low lunge here. Hands on the mat, exhaling, taking your front foot to meet your back, coming into your first plank. And of course, there's always that option to drop your knees if you like. And as we exhale, lowering down, hugging our elbows into our body all the way down through Chaturanga Devasana. And then inhaling, lifting our, our um, collarbone, our chest off the mat. Should be able to take your hands off because the lift is coming from your core. Exhaling back down. Inhaling up. Into tabletop. And as we exhale, we're going to flip our feet coming into downward dog. So be sure you can't see those heels. They should be placed nicely behind your feet. Drishti, looking up towards your navel. Lifting that tailbone up towards the ceiling. And on an inhale, we're going to lift our right foot into the air, coming into three-legged downward dog. And just hold it. So you're actively reaching that foot into the air, up and behind you. Continuing your yoga breath. And on an exhale, we'll bring that foot down, taking a moment here with both feet on the ground. And on your next exhale, inhale, you're going to lift your left foot up now. Actively reaching that foot behind you, pushing through those hands, continuing to breathe here. And on an exhale, you bring that left foot back down, coming back into downward dog. And on an exhale, we'll bend our knees, big step forward, bringing both feet to the front of the mat, exhaling down into Uttanasana, inhaling up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, and then exhaling back down again. And on an inhale, coming all the way up, be salute, maybe going to a little bit back then. Exhaling down, through the prayer, and into Tadasana. Okay, we're going to take a moment here into, in Tadasana, so your feet can be together or slightly apart. We're continuing to breathe here. Drawing that energy up through your padabandha or your feet. Shoulders dropping behind your back. Drawing in that navel. And on the inhale, we're going to come to salute. And as we exhale, we're going to come into chair. So you're going to bend your knees, bring your hands into prayer. Checking that you can see your toes peeking out on top of your knees. Letting those shoulders drop down your back. Drishti straight ahead. And on your next exhale, bringing your hands to the mat, coming into forward fold. Inhaling up halfway. Exhaling, hands down. And then we're going to take our right foot back behind us. So your front knee is going to be over top of your ankle. Right? Your back foot is open up about 45 degrees. And as we inhale, we're going to bring our hands to our hips. Double checking that our pelvis is facing the top right hand corner of our mat. 
And if this is good for you today, we're gonna inhale our hands up. So you can have your hands open or coming together in prayer. Drawing that navel in. That yoga breath and warrior one here. At the same time, allowing those shoulders to going down that back. Avoid the bunch. <laughs> and on the inhale, we're going to straighten our front knee and we're going to pivot our feet. So your feet are parallel with the front and the back of your mat. And we're going to open up our toes. So now that they're facing like this, we're going to inhale our arms into star, reaching out, opening ourselves up to that universe, looking up if that feels good for you today. And on an exhale, we're going to bring our hands to prayer, bending our knees, coming into goddess. If you find yourself bending forward, I'm going to just come back a little bit. And if this feels okay, we're going to inhale our hands to cactus. Continuing to breathe here. Maybe dropping a little lower if that feels okay for you today. And on an inhale, we'll stand up. And as we're breathing, we're going to pivot our feet now. So your right foot is facing the back of your mat. Your back foot is open up 45 degrees. You're going to find your pelvis facing the top left hand corner of your mat. We're going to bend that right front knee. I have to widen my stance a bit here. Get a good bend. And you can inhale your hands to your hips. Once you find your balance, inhaling your hands up into warrior one on the other side. Drawing that abdominal area in, dropping those shoulders down your back and continuing to breathe. Making sure your weight is evenly distributed between your front and your back foot. On the exhale, we're going to bring our hands together on either side of our foot. We're going to pivot that back foot so that our toes are over on our toes. And then we're going to bring our front foot, foot back to meet our back. Coming into plank. We're going to hold this for a yoga breath. And as we exhale, we're going to lower down slowly to the back. Inhaling, coming into baby cobra. Lifting our shoulders and our chest off the mat. Exhaling back down. We're going to inhale. Oh, there's my cat. Into tabletop. And um, this time we are going to come into dolphin pose. So you're going to put your elbow where your hand was and your other elbow where your hand was. And we're going to inhale, flipping our toes to bring your bum into the sky. And if it feels okay, some people like to walk a little closer to their hands. But if you're in a, if you're feeling good where you are, then I invite you to just stay where you are. Lifting that tailbone into the sky. Maybe dropping your feet a little lower. Pushing into your uh, forearms. And on the exhale, we're going to drop our knees down. Coming back into tabletop here, finding that alignment, making sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Inhaling here. And on the exhale, we're going to flip our feet 
and bring our bum to the side. And now we're done. So pushing through that fleshy part of your underneath your fingers and your thumb. Raising that tailbone to the sky. Our gaze at our navel. And on an exhale, we're going to bend our knees. Big step towards the back of the mat now. Coming into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Making sure your knees are bent so that your hands can touch the floor here. Holding this for a yoga breath. Coming up halfway, hands to knees or your thighs into Ardha Uttanasana. Exhaling hands back down to the ground. We're going to bend our knees now. Inhaling, bring your hands into prayer so that we are in chair. Peeking down so that you can see your toes. Looking straight ahead of you here. Reminder to let those shoulders drop down, allowing your collarbone to open up. And on an inhale, we're gonna straighten up, coming into salute. And then exhaling our hands down. Then we're back into Tadasana. All right. So we're gonna come into our standing pose of the series, which is, uh, Standing um, figure four. So I'm just going to face you guys just for a moment here, and then I'm going to go back to the back of my mat. So we are going to stand with our feet hip distance apart, maintaining that yoga breath. Nice strong core here. We're going to give our left knee a little micro bend. We're going to take our right foot and cross it over our left thigh as we bring our hands into prayer and slowly lower down. So that's what it looks like from the front. Now I'm just gonna come into it here. So remembering to keep a nice strong core. You know, drishti, drishti straight ahead, your gaze. Maybe lowering down a little bit more, if that feels okay. And on the inhale, we're gonna straighten up, taking our foot off our front thigh and stepping backwards. Now, if you find you're super wobbly doing that, you always put your foot down on the mat first and then step back. All right, so we're gonna come into pyramid. Um, so our toe, front toes are facing this side of the mat, and our back foot is open just a little bit. And as you can see, my, my stance isn't that wide. We're gonna inhale, grabbing our elbows, opening up our chest to the ceiling. And as we exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Our gaze is at our two. And we're working so that our hips are facing the top of the mat. Continuing to breathe here. On an inhale, we're gonna just look up a little bit, coming up a little bit. And as we exhale, we're gonna take both hands and drop them down towards the mat. So this is the part where that block becomes strategically handy. So we're gonna grab that block that we put at the back of our mat with our right hand. And then on an inhale, we're gonna lift our left hand into the air, coming into revolve triangle. And you're gonna find the height that works best for you here. You could be looking straight ahead here, or even try 
looking up at the ceiling. One more breath. On the exhale, we'll drop our left hand down. So both hands are on the mat. And then we're gonna take our back foot, bringing it to the, our front, our, the foot that's in front. Inhaling up halfway, hands to hips. Exhaling and then inhaling all the way up. All right, back to Tadasana here. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna micro bend that right knee. We're gonna inhale our left foot onto our right thigh, bring our hands into prayer. And as we exhale, we're gonna sink down a little bit, coming into that standing figure four. I tend to bunch my shoulders in this pose, so nice reminder to just allow your shoulders to drop down your back. Drift you straight ahead. Couple more breaths here. And on an inhale, we're gonna straighten up, exhaling that left foot behind us. Once again, our front toes are still facing the back of our mat and our back toes are opening up just a little bit so that our hips are kind of facing the front. <laughs> I know kind of isn't like the best description, but that's all I can, that's what I got today. <laughs> so we're gonna grab our elbows now the opposite way from what we did before. And like I always say, it feels a little bit different. That's how you know it's opposite. We're gonna inhale, looking up at the ceiling. Exhaling, folding at the waist. Eyes on your toe. Continue to breathe here. And on an inhale, we're gonna come up just a little bit looking up. And as we exhale, we're gonna take our hands and bring them to either side of our foot. This is where you can grab that block. Now, get it ready. Putting it under your left hand. And on an inhale, we're going to take our right hand, raise it towards the ceiling, coming into revolve triangle on the other side. Taking the height that feels best for you tonight. Reaching that right hand up towards the ceiling. One more breath. Exhaling your right hand back down. Put your block down. Take a step, bring your feet together. Exhaling down into forward fold. And this time as you inhale, coming up all the way into salute. And exhaling your hands down through prayer, some CT down to Tadasana. Not to pose. Good job, guys. All right. So we're facing the back of our mats here. We're going to go through a vinyasa. So we're going to inhale our hands up to the ceiling. Exhaling our hands all the way down. Inhaling up halfway into Ardha Uttanasana. Exhaling our hands back down. We're going to step back with our left foot this time. Finding ourselves in a low lunge. Taking a breath here, and as we exhale, we'll take that front foot to meet our back, coming into plank. And as we exhale, we're gonna lower all the way. Inhaling, we're gonna come to baby cobra, holding for a yoga breath here. And if you would like, you could push into your hands, coming a little higher into a full on yoga cobra pushing that pubic bone into the ground, exhaling back down, 
inhaling up through your tabletop. And as we exhale, we're gonna open up our knees a bit, bringing our feet in, coming into child's pose. So your forehead is touching your mat. If your hands are out in front of you, you can play a little bit with pushing your fingers into the mat. Maintaining your yoga breath here. And then maybe bringing your arms around the sides of your legs. Couple more breaths here. And on an inhale, we're slowly going to raise ourselves up. And we're going to come into Staff pose, so your legs are going to be out in front of you. Sitting up tall, toes pointing towards your forehead. Opening up that collarbone. Engaging those core muscles. I'm going to move into reverse plank here. So we're going to take our hands and put them behind us. So you do have the option to bend your knees here. And as you inhale, opening up your collarbone towards the ceiling. Exhale and dropping your head back if that feels okay. The other option is to keep your knees straight. And with your collarbone open and your head back, we're going to inhale our pelvis into the air. coming into a full reverse plank. One more breath here. Exhaling, bringing our bum down. All right, I'm gonna to spin to face you guys now. We're gonna open up our legs here. We're going to turn towards our right foot. We're inhaling, sitting up straight. And as we exhale, we're going to slide our hands along our legs. You can choose to grab your shins or your ankle or your foot. Keeping your hands parallel with each other. And if you Inhale and sit up a little bit. And exhale, fold a little forward further. We can try that. One more breath. We're gonna inhale, sitting up straight. And we're going to do it the same thing on the other side. So we're going to take our hands, and as we exhale, we're going to pull towards our left foot, sliding our hands along the mat and grabbing wherever you're feeling good. Inhaling, looking up, and exhaling, pulling forward. Once again, keeping uh, those hands parallel, keeping your feet active. When I say active, your toes. And you'll find the longer you're in this pose, the further you're going to end up folding as you exhale. Inhaling, coming on up. We're going to exhale, bringing our feet together, coming into bound angle pose. So your feet are open right now. 
and your hands are holding on to kind of like underneath your big toes. Inhaling, sitting up straight. We're going to hold this pose for another yoga breath. And this time we're going to, as we exhale, we're going to bring our feet together, folding forward. Some people work on keeping their back straight in this pose. Some people enjoy curving their spine. I would say whatever's feeling good for you today, go with that. Or if you wanna try something different, do the opposite of what you normally do. One more breath here. Inhaling, we're gonna sit up. And if you have your block handy, I invite you to just slide it underneath your bum. We're gonna keep that left leg bent. Get yourselves comfortable here. Take our right foot, put it on the outside of our left leg. We're gonna grab our knee tonight, right hand behind you. Inhale, sitting up straight. And as we exhale, we're going to twist to our right. Inhaling, coming to center. And as we exhale, we're going to take that top knee and just align it with the bottom one. And we're, so we're doing like cow face knees and eagle arms, uh, arms, <laughs> eagle arms. So you're going to take your left elbow, raising it up, right elbow comes up and over, going to intertwine our arms. And as we're breathing, we're just going to reach our elbows out away from us, and drawing our navel in. One more breath here. And on an exhale, we'll release. And then we're gonna take our feet out. Taking our right foot now in, bending that knee. My block just slipped. <laughs> now we're gonna take our left foot, put it on the outside of our right knee our right hand to our top knee here, left hand behind us, inhaling, engaging that navel. And as we exhale, we're gonna to twist to our left. One more breath here. Inhaling, coming to center. We're going to take our top knee and just um, drop it down onto our bottom. Alternatively, you can always go into Sukhasana here if this is uncomfortable for you. We're going to take our right elbow now, bring it in front of us. Left elbow goes on top, intertwining our hands. And then as we continue our yoga breath, we're just going to reach our elbows out away from us. Giving our shoulders a nice stretch here. A couple more breaths here. Sitting up tall. And on an exhale, we'll release. We're going to take our block out from under us now, if you had it, and we're going to come all the way down onto our mat, back on your mat, and your knees can be up. 
So um, we're going to go into a uh, bridge pose here. So your knees are up. You're going to bring your ankles or your heels as close as you can to your bum. Remember not to look at me in this pose. Um, your forehead should be facing the ceiling the whole time. Your palms are on your mat. And as you inhale, you're going to raise that pelvis into the air. If it feels okay, you can clasp your hands together behind your back, just giving yourself a little higher lift. Remembering to be lifting through your thighs, trying not to clench your butt cheeks, and continuing that yoga breath that keeps you strong and grounded. And on an exhale, we're going to lower down. And we're going to lower our knees also down. And you guys might remember this from last class. We're going to go into fish pose. So uh, you have the option to watch me if you can't quite remember or uh, listen to me. But once again, don't look at me because you want to keep your forehead facing the ceiling. So you're laying flat on your back. You're going to take your hands, palms down, put them underneath your bum. <laughs> All right. And once you're there, as you inhale, you're going to raise yourself up on your elbows, lifting your uh, collarbone towards the ceiling as the top of your head touches your mat. So you don't want to put a lot of weight into the top of your head. We're breathing into lifting that collarbone up, lifting our chest towards the ceiling. And on an exhale, we're slowly going to come out of it. Once again, on our backs. And on an inhale, we're going to bring our knees up to our chest, give ourselves a hug, coming into recline child's pose. Maybe um, rolling your ankles here one way and then the other. Always feels good. Mine tend to make some little creaky sounds. And from here, we're going to move into happy baby. So you're going to take your hands, keeping your knees bent, and slide them between your legs, grabbing either the outside of your foot, your toes, or your ankle. And then on the inhale, you're going to raise the soles of your feet towards the ceiling, keeping your knees bent. I tend to rock naturally here. You can try a little rock if, if you want. And then, of course, there's that happy baby smile. It's hard to do a pose called happy baby and not smile. But don't feel like you have to. Continuing your yoga breath here. And on your next exhale, we're going to release to our feet to the floor, keeping our knees bent. Um, we're going to move into a recline twist so you can put your arms into a cactus pose or straight out in a T. And on an exhale, we're going to let our knees fall to the right together as we turn our forehead to the left. If you'd like to give your knees some support here, you can always put a block underneath your knees. Start to soften your breath here. Don't let it go completely. No need to force it though. As you inhale, we're going to raise our knees, forehead to the ceiling. 
And then we're going to exhale, letting our knees drop to the left as we turn our face to the right. Breathing into anything that might need your attention. Couple more breaths here. And on an inhale, you can bring your knees up. Forehead once again facing the ceiling. And if you'd like, before you move into uh, Shavasana or corpse pose, you can bring your knees to your chest, maybe giving yourself one more hug here. Letting those shoulders rest the backs of, with your shoulder blades on the mat. Allowing your shoulders to drop towards the mat. And then when you're ready, we're going to move into Shavasana. So you can release your knees. Maybe you want to straighten your legs, allowing your feet to fall out either side, fall to either side. Your hands to be on the floor. Some people feel better putting their hands on their tummy. If you want to try that tonight, you can. If you'd like to join me in a uh, big sigh of the mouth, let's do that now. So we're going to inhale through the nose. And we're going to exhale out our mouth. I'm going to do that one more time. Feel free to join me inhaling through the nose. And exhaling out your mouth. And from there, we're going to let our breath go completely. And we're going to allow our tongue to fall away from the backs of our teeth. We're going to let go of anything that might be clenched up or kind of awkward, and just allow our bodies to sink into our mats. We allow our cheeks to relax and our jaws to relax. We're going to relax our forehead. And if we have any thoughts running through our minds, we're just going to allow them to slip away.
And we're going to slowly bring our awareness to our breath. And we start wiggling our fingers and toes. Moving your body how you need to today. Maybe stretching your arms over your head. Maybe stretching your feet out away from you. Whatever you need to do. Some people like to give themselves one last little hug. Maybe I'll do that. And then when you're ready, we're going to roll to our side. Head on our arm. Take a moment here. It's always okay to take a moment. When you're ready, we'll slowly raise ourselves up. Kevin is sitting. Namaste.